Hello, good evening and welcome uh, ladies and jodhpurs. And I say that because this instrument makes me feel like going back to India and getting my head together. And it is absolutely brilliant. But before I tell you anything about it, let's have a listen to it within. Let's hope an appropriate musical setting. Okay, let's go. So I hope that that was helpful to you and gave you some idea of what this uh, really sounds like when it's being played. Uh, now, as for the materials, construction, fit and finish, let's have a look around it. Well, what I do like immediately is the styling of the guitar because Dan Electro have made it look like well, exactly what it says on the tin, like a baby sitar with the bulbous head here and obviously this uh, pancake uh, body style with the very groovy, um, you know, Cachaturian um, style uh, scratch plate there, of course. You just have a single tone and a single volume and the jack input socket, so everything's mounted on here. And because, of course, you've just got this one little lipstick pickup. Now, the lipstick pickup, normally what I do when I get stuff in is um, I put them on the multimeter, but I've not replaced the battery because I'm lazy. And uh, But whereas, say, for example, uh, my uh, Gibson playing V pumps out 16.5 at 20 ohms, uh, in the bridge position, this I'm guessing probably puts out about half that. Six and a half, seven at a push, something like that. But nonetheless, it's crystal clear and it picks up astonishingly, astonishingly, astonishingly well. Now, uh, what we have around the back here is uh, some Cluson style tuners. This guitar, as you may or may not be able to see from the little sticker there, was made in Korea. Uh, and however, the bridge, which is a Goto sitar bridge, was made in Japan. Now, when Paul from the Fab Clocks, which uh, you can see on YouTube, the Fab Clocks, don't type it in wrong, you'll get something that you might want to see. Uh, so uh, he said that the action was too high and so I have lowered the action to what I consider to be an acceptable playable level and <laughs> I had some trouble with that I don't mind telling you. This bridge here has only got three pivot points. If you get the bridge angle wrong I've discovered, uh, you can make it sound like a bad banjo. Bad banjo, that would be quite a good name for a band. Anyway, uh, you can make it sound like a bad banjo. So the angle of this bridge is absolutely crucial to the sitar sound. 
And uh, of course, as you can see, this has six strings and this is in a regular uh, guitar tuning, a regular, you know, six string guitar tuning. Um, and the, br the bridge, the sitar bridge, which actually, if I think about it, because of the location of the three pivot points, I think that you could put that bridge directly onto any Dan Electro at all. Yes. So you could just buy the bridge, stick it on your Dan Electro that you've already got, because I reckon it'll just plumb straight in. I've not tested it, but that's what I think. Uh, so yes, uh, it's critical that this is absolutely flat or even a slight downward angle to produce that sitar sound. So what else do we have? I assume that the neck is uh, maple. Uh, like I say, you've got these uh, Clusen, uh, mini Clusen style tuners. Uh, you've got this, uh, the, the traditional Dan Electro brass nuts uh, that screwed in. Well, no, actually, I'm not sure if it is brass, but it's some kind of metal anyway. Um, the truss rod insert is at the bottom of the neck here. And, uh, the, and the neck, the neck straightness is absolutely perfect. When I put my tool on it, it had just the exact right sliver of light shining through there and the frets are totally dead straight and the intonation is absolutely bang on and if that's how these things come from the factory then well they're doing the job right so um yes i assume again that the fretboard is either rosewood or indian laurel and um, that's what it looks like to me. It, could, it Actually, this could do with a little bit of conditioning. Uh, but, you know, it's a little bit dried out. But there's a uh, you know, thing wrong. And, of course, you've got that traditional Dano uh, tape around the body here as binding. Now, I am given to understand from what Paul told me. That's Paul from the Fab Clocks. Uh, that the body is made from plywood with a hardboard veneer. Hmm, unusual, but what a lovely, what a lovely finish. It's like a teardrop sunbursty kind of thing. And of course, you've got that uh, lipstick pickup there with a little stop tail at the bottom. And that is pretty much it from me and the demo tonight. So thanks all ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. So it's adios amigos. Ta-ra.